Hello, welcome to another progress update. Um, as you can see, I appreciated all the parts for the um, Force Impulse Gundam. Uh, that is, the white parts, the white parts are done. Um, and um, the next step will be to apply the base color, um, which will be a very light gray. And then um, highlight that with. Um, I don't know, pure white maybe, or white with a little bit of grey. Um, I want to get go quite uh, light with this color because uh, I want to weather um, the mobile suit a bit. And if you apply washes, um, the um, color will darken a bit, will be a bit darker afterwards. And yeah, <clears throat> so. It's uh, wise to uh, go a bit overboard with the lightness of the color. Um, just to give you a little recap, <coughs> I've primed <coughs> the parts with um, gray primer, and then I made a mix of Vallejo Air Barley Gray and Black Gray 50-50. Um, and I did the pre-shading with that. Now, normally I would pre-shade with, um, with black, perhaps, uh, yes. But uh, in this instant I wanted to try something new. I um, wanted to try to give a more supple, subtle um, transition between the dark and the light areas. Um, I can um, later post shade <laughs> the whole thing uh, with black gray or a mix that is a bit darker and um, if, if I'm not happy with the result and I want um, the shadow areas to be darker. Yeah that's what I've done. Um, now let's get on to some base coloring. Um, I'm holding uh, back on the decals um, for the ball because um, I want to uh, apply a, um, a clear co coat, a uh, gloss varnish, before I apply the decals. And um, so I'm, I'm waiting for these parts to be ready for to take decals uh, and I can spray them all in one go and uh, don't have to clean the airbrush. Because uh, when you shoot um, some varnish through the airbrush, you got to clean it very thoroughly. Alright, let's see uh, what we can do today. <laughs> 